Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I wanna show you a nice new feature in Tableau Prep, which allows you to set up fiscal dates very easily just using the standard interface. Okay, I'm gonna open up Superstore, the sample workflow here on the bottom left. And if you're familiar with Superstore sales, if you're a Tableau user, you'll be very familiar with the data set. Essentially, there are four inputs here from different areas. They get brought together and they basically come through into this particular section where we actually have all our data in one step. Now, if I go ahead and click on that step, Tableau will open up the data pane here that gives me a summary of my data as well as a table view of my data. You can see it's just rendering here on your screen. It's a little bit slow this morning, I don't know why, um, but it can take a little while, especially if it's having to run the flow in the background. Now, the key feature here is gonna need us to go to the order date column. And a little quirk with this feature is that you're actually gonna to want to create a duplicate because if you go ahead and create a fiscal date on this column itself, you'll lose your original order date. And typically, fiscal dates are brought in alongside the original date item that was used to create them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on these three dots, click on duplicate field, and this will duplicate the field. Now you're probably wondering, well, where is it? Um, it doesn't actually create it next to this column. It goes all the way at the very beginning. And you can just see here on the left-hand side that we've got it right there. Now that we've got it there, uh, we can go ahead and use this new feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on these three dots and I'm going to go to convert dates. And you'll see at the very bottom, there's a new feature here that says custom financial year. Now there's a little bit of an issue on launch where essentially Tableau Online doesn't yet support these new features. So you'll get this little warning telling you not to use the feature if you want to schedule the flow, but we don't need to do that for this video. So I'll just go ahead and click use features and the feature interface pops up. What I need to do is select the date option. So essentially it's asking me which component of the fiscal year would you like to create? And in this case, I'd just like to create um, the month, just to make it easy to see. And then here I can actually define when my fiscal year starts. So I don't have the level of um, fidelity to be able to choose the exact day of the year. Um, sometimes let's say if you're working in accounting in the UK, um, the fiscal year might actually start on the 5th of April because that's exactly when the tax year ends. But if I just go ahead and choose April as an example and hit convert dates, It'll actually take all the dates and it'll go through and calculate the correct fiscal period. So if I click on the first uh, here, what I should see are order dates that are in April. So you can just see that that's worked really, really well. Just here in the order date column where I'm clicking, you can see that the order dates here for the selection I previously made, what I have to actually do is uh, keep that selection sort of fired up because when I deselected it, it didn't didn't appear. So if I just keep that one selected there and just highlight your attention here in the order date column where I'm moving my mouse, then you can see that this is actually only showing dates in April. So the features worked and it's really, really nice. Now, if you want to create the year, you can of course do that as well. Uh, you can just click on order date here on the bottom. This will bring that into focus up top. And then if we go ahead and click on the order date column here, and again, we go to convert dates, custom financial year, um, I want the year number this time, and then I want to make sure this is April. I can hit convert dates and we're good to go. Now, the nice thing here is if you've got maybe two organizations, maybe you've got a parent organization and a smaller subsidiary that have different fiscal years, you can actually create those fiscal year columns in the same data set and then just give the user the ability to switch between them in something like Tableau Desktop. Okay, so it's a really, really nice feature um, to be able to do. Um, now, you'll see I actually made a mistake there myself. What I did is I actually converted the order date column myself into the years directly. So I actually lost the fidelity of the order date. If you want to get that back, that's super easy. Just open up the left hand side pane, go down to the last step, which converts the dates to um, years, and then just delete that final step. And then you're back to where you were before. Then you can go ahead and duplicate the order date field and this time actually do it correctly. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Click on the three dots. Can, um, I need to first duplicate. This is gonna catch a lot of people out, I think, but first duplicate, then go back to the left. And once that's done, we can uh, convert this to the year number. We can do this uh, actually right here, um, but if you want the custom financial year, you can go ahead and choose April, then choose the year there, and then convert date. 
prior to this feature, what you had to do is do some sort of date offsetting. So you'd shift the dates forward or back by the number of months that you offset compared to the calendar year. And then that would get your dates sort of in the right in the right realm. Then you'd just go ahead and use the standard sort of um, features that are available. But that's the feature in a nutshell. It's pretty, very simple, really nice quality of life improvement when you're handling dates inside a Tableau Prep. Um, and it makes it much, much easier to work with. Thanks for watching this video. You know what to do if you like the video. If you don't, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future.